you said about this mask ruling out of a federal court in Florida that it's a disappointing decision, and you say you continue to recommend that people wear masks. <laughs> Why is it that we can sit here in the White House briefing room with no masks, but people can't sit in an airplane cabin with no masks? Well, Peter, I'm not a doctor. You're not a doctor. That I'm aware of, if you're a doctor. I wasn't aware of that today, and until today. Right. Okay, not a doctor. Just making sure. I don't know. Um, and nor do you play one on TV. Nor does he play one on TV. There you go. Most days. Um, but these determinations, remember the masking guidance is there are is green, yellow, and red. We are currently in a green zone in Washington, D.C., so they're not recommending it. Some people can still wear a mask if they want to. Many people do, or wear them in meetings, or wear them at certain times where you're going to be around or sitting close to people, or maybe you have an immunocompromised parent or, or friend, and so people make that decision. And there's, this is based on health considerations and data that the CDC looks at about transmissibility as, as we've seen an increase in cases on, on airplanes. And would the president support if a flight is leaving from an airport in a green zone, those people don't have to wear masks? Again, Peter, there's, a di there's been long a difference from the beginning about people on an airplane and in uh, federal transportation vehicles and situations than where they are in locations. Like, we here, here continue to be in Washington, D.C., a green zone. But what we'd ask for, I think it's important to remember, is a two-week extension, or not ask for, what we had announced was a two-week extension to look at the data and make recommendations based on the data and the science about whether it should be continued or not. Okay, on a different topic, we have new reporting that at least 23 people apprehended at the southern border in 2021 are on the terror watch list. Why do you guys think it is that somebody on a terror watch list would want to get into the United States undetected? Well, I, I can't make an assessment of that. But what I can tell you is that your data you're citing here means the Border Patrol was doing their job. I mean, so, they, so they apprehended people at the border. 2,000 illegal immigrants a day got away last month. Are you saying that you can say with certainty none of them are on a terror watch list? Here's what we're talking about, encounters we know and of a suspected terrorist attempting to cross the southern border. They're very uncommon. Uh, we're talking about a few dozen annual encounters at most, at most, uh, and these encounters represent significantly less than the 0.01 percent of total encounters per fiscal year in recent years. But I'd note, these individuals, these 23 people, the Border Patrol, they stopped them. They prevented them from getting into the country. They're protecting our homeland and keeping us safe. So the president is not worried about holes in the southern border being exploited by people trying to come in and kill Americans. He's grateful to the Border Patrol for doing their job and, and stopping these people and preventing them from getting into the country. And one additional question about uh, something that happened a few months ago down at the border. We've been told that the mounted Border Patrol officers, the president accused of whipping migrants, have been notified they will not face criminal charges. So when is the president going to apologize to them? Uh, there is a process and an investigation that's gone through the Department of Homeland Security. I don't have any update on that. The president said that they were whipping people, which would be a criminal offense, and they've been told they're not going to be criminally and charged. And there was an so investigation well. into that, and I'll let the Department of Homeland Security announce any conclusion of that investigation. You accuse these officers of brutal and inappropriate measures now that they've been told they will not be criminally charged. Will you apologize? And, Peter, there was an investigation into their behavior. So that investigation is playing out. Is whenever there, it's uh, going to be announced, the Department of Homeland Security will announce that, and I'm sure we'll have a comment on it after that. Go ahead. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.